And right now at five, we start with our top story, a developing story this evening, the mystery surrounding the death of a 13 year old girl in St. Johns County. This is Tristan Bailey right here. Her life taken on Mother's Day. She was a student at Patriot Oats Academy, a beloved daughter, sister, friend, and a cheerleader. And here is what we know so far about what led up to her death. The sheriff's office says that she was last seen Sunday around 1:15 in the morning at the Durban Amenities Center, a neighborhood gathering area. By 10 a.m. she was reported missing. Sunday night at 6, the sheriff's office called off its search. Her body, they say, was discovered in a wooded area. And today, the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office announced the arrest of 14 year old Aiden Fucci. He's now charged with second degree murder in the death of Tristan. First Coast News is covering every angle of this case. On your side, Jocelyn Howard is talking with community members who are remembering this young life cut short. Community shocked, saddened tonight, but we start tonight with On Your Side's Jessica Clark with what we're learning about this suspect. Jessica? We are at the Durban Crossing North Amenities Center, and this is the last place where Tristan was seen alive and already friends and and neighbors here in the neighborhood have laid flowers here just to remember this very vibrant, energetic young lady, Tristan Bailey, 13 years old. She was on a cheer team. She loved cheer, had won an award for being the best cheerleader in the area. But you know what? It was just a few blocks away where there was crime scene tape still roping off the end of a road where her body was found in the woods just on the other side of the tree line. And St. John's County Sheriff, Sheriff announcing the arrest of 14 year old Aiden Fucci, a classmate of hers. I'm told by other classmates they were friends. The sheriff said a man who lives in the neighborhood went into the woods near his home yesterday when everybody was out and about trying to find what had taken what had happened to her, try to find her. And that's when that neighbor actually found her body yesterday afternoon. The community helped us solve this case. When I say they went to work, they went to work, whether it be on social media. I mean, we saw moms and families yesterday walking in the wood line in clothes like church clothes yesterday. This is how passionate they were about solving this case or helping us solve this case. And Later today, after we heard from the sheriff, I saw a dive team head into the area by where her body was found. They are diving in a nearby lake, very close to that wooded area. Also, a crime scene truck was positioned at a house that we're told is where uh, Fuchi, the suspect, lives with his uh, parents. And uh, that truck was there for several hours this afternoon. Not a lot of information being given to us from the sheriff's office about how she died or what was the motive. They're gathering a lot of information, saying they're also waiting for a full report from the medical examiner's office. We're live in Durban Crossing, where a lot of children and families live who know of these people involved in this case. Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side. Such a tragedy. Jessica, thank you. We know that there is a lot of information that's been circulating out there. So tonight we want to break down what we have verified to be true, what's false and what we don't yet know. So under the verified true column right there, the sheriff's office in St. Johns County confirming for us today that the body found last night has in fact been identified as 13 year old Tristan Bailey. Now 14 year old Aiden Fucci is in custody tonight in connection to her death. The sheriff says Tristan and the suspect did attend the same school and we're told that social media posts did help investigators in this case. Now a look at what's false so far. Many posts circulating online suggesting that there were two suspects involved. The sheriff says Fuchi is the only suspect. Also, the family telling us this afternoon that they have not set up multiple GoFundMe accounts. We have placed a link to the only one set up by a family friend on the First Coast News app. Tristan's father telling me that anything else is fraudulent. And here's what our team is still working to verify at this hour. First, a Snapchat post allegedly from the suspect from the back of a patrol car mentioning Tristan by name. That has not yet been verified. Also, the medical examiner has not determined the cause of death, and it's not clear if prosecutors plan to charge the suspect as an adult.